Nothing, sir. Oh, good man. Hope it all goes well today. Yes, let's hope so, Cairns. Oh, good luck. Sour. You'll give the milkman a heart attack. Mm. Don't forget to leave the car keys under the back wheel. Good luck. pressure on the starboard. Right, new seals on the trick, sir. I don't expect any more trouble, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, potential headaches. Why that air conditioning unit? They could pack up, sir. Morning, sir. Charge. Uh, morning, Rob. Sir. Yeah, we'll see what you can... Uh, minefield charts over there. See what you can do, but don't waste too much time on it. I can live with faulty air conditioning. Right. How's Judy? I could. She outdid herself last night. Five courses, candle lit. You're right for Christmas dinner, are you? Yeah, if I survive today. I've checked the chart. The minefield they've given us looks tricky. Yeah, tricky? Nothing we can't handle. Well, no alteration to the navigational plan you've plotted. Good. Thank you, sir. What are you doing for Chrissy, Wingy? No, my granddad's coming over from Perth. Slow you down for a bit the check, sir, won't it? Look, he took care of me when me folks died. And it's his first Christmas without Grandma. I don't want him to be by himself. Uh, sorry, mate. I forgot about you folks. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, move yourselves. CO's on his way down. Come on. We've got two and a half weeks of intensive sea training behind us, and we've carried out the entire range of patrol boat exercises. Now we've got to prove that we know our stuff. So let's go into this evaluation with our wits about us. Hmm? We don't want another workup and another ORE hanging over our heads for Christmas. So we do it right and the pressure's off. We do it with cheerfulness and enthusiasm and in 10 hours time, it'll all be over. But believe me, it's gonna be a long, hard day. We'll be sailing at action stations, that's all. Get on the way, shall we? Sir. The light drive station, sir. Thank you. We'll uh, sail it from the wheelhouse, shall we? Sir. Take up your stations. Machinery's working correctly, sir. Apart from an intermittent fault in one of the air conditioning units. Thank you, Charge. Bacon and egg roll, sir. Oh. Thank you. Coffee. Thank you. Ivory will get you nowhere. Oh, our e team are all board, sir. Special C duty will closed up. Thank you, X. Wheel has been tested and found correct, sir. Very good. Frank Pants, what sort of mood are you in? You just keep smiling, Vince. Let go one, three, and four. Very good. Slow head port, slow stern starboard. Slow head port, slow stern starboard. Stop both sir. engines. Stop both engines. Both engines stop, sir. Come on, get these lines. Stowed away. Well, get the lead out. Come on, you heard him. Wake up. All right, all right. Slow ahead, both engines. Slow ahead, both engines. Action gun crews, close up. Action Four gun 30. crews, close up. Four thirty, sir. Station. 
30 degrees port wheel on top. Revolutions 450. Revolutions 450, sir. Zero four zero revolutions five five zero. You have the con. I have the con, sir. Are we on the transit? Uh, I'll just check, sir. You should know without checking. Ship's not answering the helm, sir. Here we go. Well, we survived our steering failure. We found our man overboard. I reckon we're doing pretty well. You think we'll run into a mine? No chance. Two to one we do. Ten bucks, you're on. Signal to Noik, entering minefield at 0820. Right, sir. Inform ship's company are about to enter a minefield. All hands brace for shock, sir. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? The ship is about to enter a minefield. All hands brace for shock. Right, all hands brace for shock. Gunners, you can close up on the forecastle with the SLR. Starboard 20. Starboard 20, sir. 20 degrees, starboard wheel on. Are we in the swept channel yet? Uh, yes, sir. 20 yards to port of the centre line. Look out, bearing red one zero, floating object 200 yards. Confirm, one mine. It's a mine, sir. Slap bang in the middle of the swept channel, sir. Here, step by the against the mine. Leave the pilot with the car, Captain. Sir. Stop both engines. Stop both engines, sir. Both engines stop, sir. Half a stern, both. Half a stern, both, sir. Engage the mine. Come to it, Wayne! Well done, we Bullseye. Mine destroyed. Ship's yours again, Captain. Sir. Stop both engines. Stop both engines. Both engines stop, sir. Slow ahead both. Slow ahead both, sir. You have the ship, sir. We're still in the channel. Thank you, sir. At 20 bucks here only. We've just cleared the minefield area, sir. Right. Switch to MCI control. Sir. Um, I'll have leading seamen or two will relieve you, Swain, and then close up with the medical party. Oh, sir. Uh, inform the ship's company that we have destroyed one loose mine, that we're now clear of the minefield area, but remain at action stations. Oh, sir. Do you hear, Sid Rep? One mine sighted and destroyed. We've cleared the minefield area. Remain closed up and at action stations. you been? Down ahead, Swain. What about the first aid gear? It's all set up. Good, Cairns. Bridge lookout bearing red, one zero, small vessel. Fire. 
It's some sort of small craft. Captain. Sir. Hostile aircraft approaching fast on the port side. Thank you, sir. Here we go again, bloody hell. Enemy aircraft approaching red 125. Alarm aircraft red 125. <laughs> Port 30. Port 30, sir. 30 degrees port wheel on, sir. Very Stand by, Buffer. Aim at target. Right, there's your target. Missile coming in the port side. Alarm missile closing. Port, port side. Bang. Hit alpha. Missile hit alpha. Missile hit, hit alpha. Missile hit port side midships. Slow hit both engines. Slow hit both engines. Missile hit port side midships. Shut down generators. Shut down. Shut down generators. Both engines stop. Here. Lean this on you. Lieutenant, turn that on you. What? Thought you weren't looking well, Lex. Lucky bastard. What's the situation, Captain? Aircraft destroyed, sir. Standing by for casualty and damage reports, sir. I've got a fix on our position, sir. I'm sending a signal to Noy Complete Commander. Please, they pick them, don't they? That's good work, Cairns. Come on, lift it up. HQ-1, this is Damage Control Party. Class Alpha Fire in Junior Sailor's Quarters. Flooding in three Charlie magazines. Right, attack party muster galley flat. Roger. Flood support party stand to. Port engine damaged. Port engine damaged, sir. How bad is it, Tiffy? Uh, we're still investigating, sir. Looks bad. Well, give me a sit rep as soon as possible. Roger, sir. Sorry, sir. Thought you were dead. Looks wrong. No sign of life. 
Sir, so request permission to suspend the exercise to investigate. It's very good. <clears throat> safeguard, safeguard. There appears to be a yacht in distress on the port side. We're going to investigate. Engine room advised when you're ready to get underway. Didn't have much choice. Just bad luck it had to drift across our bow, eh? Defiance, defiance. Go ahead, Egg. No evidence of life. Food and clothing still stowed. Life jackets and inflatable raft intact. Uh, the occupants could have been lost overboard. We'll investigate further. Over. Thank you, Egg. Out. Arrow. Immediate signal. Noik, Commos Fleet, DefNav and Coastal Surveillance Canberra with full details of the yacht. Sir. And I want a rundown of all weather in a sea radius of 500 nautical miles in the past week. Right, sir. What do you think's happened? Do you know if it's a local yacht? I don't know, sir. But she could have been drifting around there for the last couple of days. It'd be pretty futile using her as a search and rescue data. Yes. <clears throat> yes, I agree. Well, I think we should inform the air search and rescue people and then take her in tow. Fine. We'd intend to tow for later on in the day, so uh, I'll include it in the exercise. Nothing extra. Defiance. Go ahead, X. Over. Uh, part of the anchor cable and shackle are still attached. Looks as if the pin has worked its way out of the mooring shackle and the yacht's drifted off. Over. Roger, X. Well, we'll send the small boat back to you and uh, prepare to take her in tow. Out. I think we should take her back to Cairns, sir, and then inform the Coast Guard. Yes. I agree. Pilot? Yes, sir. Play off a course for Cairns. Aye, sir. Make us do it all again, you know that, don't you? You can't do that. You're killing him. Don't make that yacht. Ship's company, muster on the quarter deck. Hey, they come out of the water and get that. We'll all find out soon enough. Move yourselves. Hey, you want to try again? Oi. Double or nothing. What's the bet? I bet we pass. <laughs> you still believe in Santa Claus, Buffer? You're right. Ship's company. Easy. So, Ships Company, standard, easy. Stand easy. Hmm. You'll all be wondering if the ship's passed the ORE. Well, I was more than pleased with the way you handled the ship's loss of steerage and the man overboard exercise. You successfully sank the mine and avoided the aircraft attack. And before the interruption of a real life incident, you were showing that you were capable of handling a missile impact. There were one or two minor hiccups that need ironing out, but all these will be in my report, and I'm quite sure that your captain will quickly sort these problems out. I am confident that you are ready to go on operational duty in the New Year's program. So you can head off for your Christmas break with a clear conscience. Well done, everybody. Ship's company. Oh! Yes, Smith. Hey. 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 
Yeah, they're perhaps a part, eh? Oh, I could do with a drop. Not me. What? Oh, I don't want to be hung over when my granddad arrives. What are you going to do with Wingy? Oh, I'm going to take him out for Chrissy dinner. Then I reckon I'll hire a car and show him the place. Take his mind off Grandma, you know. I didn't know you were old enough to have a licence, mate. <laughs> That's all right. You're going to get a car with pedals. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who likes some singers? We're having Christmas dinner with Rob Matthews and his wife. Ah. Juicy's a first-class cook. Ah. Ah, I hear the uh, wife knows her way around the kitchen, Rob. Constant battle with the waistline, sir. Nothing. Um, is the menu classified information? Stuffed pheasant with truffles. Pheasant? <whistles> How about that? What have you got there, Rob? I think I've got an estimated position on that yacht, sir. Oh, well, let's have a look, shall we? Inspector Forrest, this is Lieutenant Fisher. He'll look after you. Look after him, sir. Thank you, David. I'll see you and your officers at the debriefing, sir. Commander David Keating, this is Inspector Forrest of the Australian Federal Police. Inspector? Commander? <clears throat> Shall we? We've been ordered around. Immediate. Sorry, I know it's a nuisance. Yes, a nuisance. Well... Merry Christmas. Thanks. And a Merry Christmas to you too. Good evening. You're not going to be late, are you? Yeah. By about a week. A week? Yeah. Been ordered back to sea. Oh, no. Well, what about Christmas dinner? Have you bought the pheasant yet? Today. That's why I needed the car. Will it keep? Well, they hang them up for weeks at a time. I guess so. It's not the first Christmas we've missed. Wouldn't have missed this one if I didn't have such a big mouth. What happened? You didn't fail the ORE single-handed, did you? No, no, we passed the ORE. Then I had to show how clever I was. And we landed with extra sea duty. God, you won't be real popular with the fellas. No. Just have to eat humble pie instead of pheasant. <laughs> well, I better get back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Confident that's the island the yacht drifted from? Reasonably confident. We know that yacht, Commander. She's part of a very well organized bird smuggling racket. I see. We managed to pick up the yacht courier or two, but we've never penetrated their bases, their lines of communication. Well, that's two days sailing from here. That's out of Hilo range. Yeah, but you're our best bet. 
gets us on the island on Christmas Day. Look, I'm sorry about that, but we've got to move very quickly. This island could be the breakthrough. Hi, friend of White's. Hey, what the hell's going on? Something to do with that yacht. He's a federal dick. Yeah, we're not going to pipe blue. Got a hot date tonight. Well, you have. And I'm meeting this nurse. She's lusting after me. <laughs> well, you got a new deodorant, while she? Oh, look, mate, some of us have got it, and some of us just haven't. Mate, you got it. Cairns, Skipper wants to see you. On my way. And the rest of you, make ready for an immediate return to sea. Oh, oh what? what? Get on with it. Oh, what about my bloody nurse? What about Christmas? What about my granddad? Excuse me, Swan. Um, what's the fuel situation? Uh, 10 to 11 days, sir. That should do us. Come in, Swan. Better check your hams and turkeys and beer ration. Stores are standing by. Yes, sir. Christmas at sea. Oh, we should be getting thrown out of the best pubs in town by now. Yeah, we should have put a 4060 right up the middle of that yacht. Inspector Forrester settled in for the night. Good. Oh, I went through that Christmas menu you made out with cans. Well, it's a bit plain, I know, but I was trying to balance the victualling allowance. Yeah, but I think we can manage something a bit better than that, hmm? Worry about morale first. All right, fine, you're the boss. What about the menus? Are we going to post them? Good idea. Well, you're a damn hand with a pen and paper, Violet. Why don't you try and find some cardboard and see if that... Sir? Oh, a Christmas tree. That's intact. We've still got some of the decorations left. Mm. You wouldn't happen to know where the fairy lights are, would you? Fairy lights? Yeah. Me. What am I gonna do? What is it, Wingy? That's oh, me pa. He gets in on tomorrow's plane. Don't worry, Wingy. We'll have a word of the X in the morning. He doesn't know what to do. I'm supposed to meet him. X will look after it, Wingy. Maybe he can arrange for my nurse to pick him up. Nobody gives a damn. Special assignment to the Australian Federal Police. We'll be at sea for a minimum of five days. I know how you feel and I sympathise. You want your families and loved ones advised as soon as possible, so the buffer will collect a list of names to be included in the signal to north. It's a blow, I know, but at least James Larder is stopped full of grease. We're going to make a day of it. Best Christmas dinner the Navy can provide, served in the best naval tradition. That is all. He's old, sir. I mean, he won't know what to do. I can have him met. The only problem is my flat's locked and there's no food there. You've got the only key? Yes, sir. Well, let me think about it. But if he gets there... Sir, let me think about it, Aaron. The flies Christmas dinner menu, X. Oh, oh, Bruno, any luck with those fairy lights? Check it now, X. Good. Well, let's show the captain. This is your island here. And we're here. Good. The revised Christmas dinner menu. Well, oh, good. Let's have it. Roast turkey, roast potatoes, green peas, baked onions, 
Chew floor agua A little bit of French provincial creeping in. And uh, finish pavlova. Sounds fine. Let's post it. Fine. What's up? Thanks a lot. Hey, hey, we lost the French. No, no, there, he's here. Whack it in, whack it in. Great, where's the decorations? Bruno's got them, he's yeah, bringing them. Yeah, decorations, yeah, yeah. got the light strike! The Australian Army is to review its manpower. The Defence Minister, Mr. Schaffler, a grat. The allocation and distribution of regular manpower will be made to prepare for the introduction of there you go, turn them on. They're on! No, they're not. We're in the left Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait for it. There you go. Hey, hey. 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 Christmas tree fully operational, sir. Good. Let's carry out an inspection, shall we? Now I can't even meet him at the airport. Oh, come on. Ah, found the lights. Under the buffer's bunk, sir. <laughs> what do you think, <laughs> sir? <laughs> First rate. Excuse me, sirs. Christmas dinner menu. Hey, hey what is chow fleur or gratin? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's all Anglo-Saxon to me. Why don't you have something ethnic, sir? Oh, all right, Bruno, you can have spaghetti. Look, roast turkey <laughs> served with roast potatoes. Look, it's 100 degrees down here. Oh, yeah, we'll all die of heat exhaustion, mate. It's Christmas. No such luck. Oh, oh sir. Oh, <laughs> Chauffleur au gratin? I only post and print. <laughs> Captain's compliments, Christmas Eve. I could be anywhere. We could be here all bloody day. Yeah. Do you know what he did about my pa? Nothing. Absolutely bloody nothing. Can't keep dinner more than another hour, sir. All right, but it looks like we'll have to start without them. Shore party over. We've spotted what appears to be a base camp. It seems deserted. We're going in for a closer look, over. Understood. Out. that way. I'm going to 
to take a look around. We'll come with you. There's a dead bird here. And another one. Poor little buggers. Where's their water and seed? Unnecessary luxuries. Yeah. I'm going to let them out. No, you're not. We may need these for evidence. You leave them where they are. Inspector. Makeshift wharf through there. Empty fuel drums. Looks like they cleaned out the lot and shot through. Getting some water out of our canteens, Wingy, and some of the ham sandwiches. I'm going to do one better than that. Hey, Wingy, you heard what that copper said. Mate. Accidents happen. Come on, fellas. Don't you get. Come on. Come on. Come on. Merry Christmas! Sir, shore party coming through. Shore party, shore party, this is Defiance, over. Yep, Defiance. This is shore party. Nothing here, Skipper. They're bolted, over. Roger, shore party, well, we'll expect you back on board at your discretion, over. Uh, we were wondering about Christmas dinner. I know it's late, but, uh, over. Well, if you hurry, you might just make Pavlova. Out. Who released those birds? No idea. Must be clever little buggers, hey, sir? You're going to hear more about this, sailor. We've um, got one or two choices. We can either... Find a shady spot, put our feet up and enjoy our ham sandwiches and beer. Or we could try and get back to Defiance for the rest of the Pavlova. Which is it to be? Pavlova, X? No, what does it matter? Papa? Pavlova. Yes, sir. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> Kate! You're on way up. They should have waited for us. They couldn't know when we'd be back. Hold the boat, Bruno. Come on, sir. It's already the middle of the afternoon. What are you all waiting for? Any Pavlova left, Swain? You just worry about securing that boat, Bruno. Skipper's down in the junior sailor's mess, sir. Oh, right. Thanks, Bill. Ah, Wingy. Swain? Come with me. I've got a job for you. Swain is Pavlovin. Sounds very bloody quiet.
So, you like releasing birds, do you? How does your grandfather feel about pheasant, Wingy? With truffles. Pheasant, Swain. With what? Yeah, truffles. Wow. It's a special treat for Christmas. I thought I was going to be having Christmas all by myself. Well, hop in. The pheasant should be just about right. Yeah. <laughs> 